time, no see, I know, but I've just been busy with life. There's no other excuse than that, but I am really excited to film my February favorites today because I have not talked to you guys in a long time. And secondly, I love favorites videos. I think they're amazing because essentially they're like little mini reviews where you really get to find out if the person likes a particular product or if they didn't really care for it that much. So without further ado, I'm going to get into my February favorites. The first product I'd really like to mention would be this Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay, and I'm sure you guys have heard about it. It's really, really popular. Um, it's basically the third palette, or you could say the fourth, because there is a Naked Basi Basics palette, um, palette in their Naked line series. And it's really pretty. It's a bunch of rose gold neutrals, and I think that's what drew me to this palette um, the most, is that I really like rose gold. I think it complements my skin tone very, very well, and it brings out the warmness in my skin tone. It's just amazing. I know um, with the Naked 2 palette, um, I really had to make myself use that one. It wasn't really complimentary for my skin tone. I know there are a lot of people that love it, but normally taupe Toby type colors don't really um, complement my skin tone the best and then the first one was great it was gold a lot of gold bronze based colors which are great for my skin tone as well but I was just kind of over that one um, this one is just really really perfect I have not used a color that I think won't work on me which is pretty much the goal of getting <laughs> any palette that you get you know it's you want every color to essentially work for you the next product I want to talk about is this Milani Easy Brow, and this is in the color Dark Brown, and it's just a two-ended product. I have like three or four of these. Um, it, it comes like pointed and sharpened, but I've used it so much that it's lost its shape, but here's the one side and here's the other side. It's just the spoolie. I have been looking for a great brow product that is not... Um, one that you have to dip and then apply with a separate tool like the Anastasia Dip Brow or the Tarte, Amaz I think it's the Tarte Amazonian uh, brow products and I actually have the Tarte one and I love that one to death but for on the go and for you know if I'm in a hurry I don't want to have to take a brush dip it apply it on my face you know go back and forth I want something that's really easy um, and so that's why I ended up picking up this one it's amazing it blends like a dream it is a lot warmer than the Tarte um, brow product the one that comes in a pot and has a brush with it I can't remember the name of that one off the top of my head so if you have that one the color um, deep brown or dark brown is a lot warmer than the medium color in the Tarte product um, but I really love this and it's only like seven dollars so that's a lot better than the Anastasia um, brow pencil that's like 22 so I really really love this and if you're watching this right now and you live near a CVS these are buy one get one 50% off right now all Milani products so I would definitely hit up CVS um, if you're looking for a great brow product the next product I want to talk about is this Dior Nude Dior Skin Nude BB Cream, and it looks like this. It's really, really pretty packaging. Um, it comes with a pump. Mine's really messy because I've been using it nonstop. Let me tell you, this is the best <laughs> BB cream ever. And um, just a little disclaimer, I don't buy BB creams for necessarily for all the benefits. I know originally they originated in Asia and they're supposed to be um, have all these vitamins and minerals and that. That's great. I buy it just to have a sheer form of, of a foundation pretty much. Pretty much like a tinted moisturizer. If it has the extra benefits in it, great. If it doesn't, it's not, um, it's not a deal breaker for me. But I love this. This is amazing. I've been wearing this every single day since I got it. It's amazing. It covers. And I've, I've tried the Maybelline one. I've tried the Smashbox one. And I've tried the Dior. This is the third BB cream I guess I've tried. It, this is the best. It beats them hands down. It doesn't leave my face oily. Um, it covers, but it's at the same time, I still have a really natural looking complexion, which is great. So if you're looking for a BB cream, it comes in four different shades, this being the darkest one. I would hit up Sephora today and see if they have a shade for you. So because it's, it's great. It's absolutely great. 
The next product I want to talk about is from Benefit and it is the Their Real Mascara. And this is like a little travel size. I actually got this in a package from a friend that I know in the UK. So thank you so much for sending me this. Um, but I've been currently obsessed with this mascara. But it's funny because um, when this mascara first came out with Their Real by Benefit, I was just like, um, it's okay. I didn't really care for it too much. Um, but I don't know what's happened but all of a sudden I'm just obsessed with it I'm wearing it today on my lashes and it just gives your lashes a lot of length and it does volumize a little bit but mainly just the length and I'm surprised that I like it because I'm really into volume but for every day and even you know if you want to look a little done up I would definitely suggest this mascara the only sucker part of this is that it's hard to get off and that's almost an understatement it's quite hard to get off but I think it's worth it I've still been using that hasn't deterred me from from using it every day so definitely definitely a great mascara the next product I'm going to talk about is also from benefit and this is the professional primer and this looks like this um when this product came out I didn't even try to try it because I didn't think it would work for my oily skin but I'm very surprised that it actually works great for my oily skin. And um, it really does work to minimi minimize the appearance of pores. So if you're looking for a great primer, especially heading into spring, summer, the warmer months, I would definitely suggest that you try this. It's one of my benefits. The next two products I want to talk about kind of go hand in hand and they are the IT Cosmetics, um, I guess it's just their blush brush and it is the NARS Blush in Dulce Vita. Now the NARS Blush in Dulce Vita, I had been thinking about not trying this actually. I was going to try um, Outlaw, I think was the brush blush I was going to uh, get, but for some reason I went with Dulce Vita. I've been obsessed with this blush <laughs> ever since I've gotten it. I have not used any other blush. It's amazing. It, wearing it today, it's just a really natural, rosy pink type blush. You can wear it every day. Um, it kind of has, to me, it kind of has like a little brown undertone. So it's not like pink, but it's more wearable, especially if you're a brown skin girl like myself. It's really wearable and it's it's just a really great blush all around. NARS blush, so it's super pigmented, a little pricey, but I definitely think that the NARS blushes are totally worth it. And then the brush I was telling you about was the IT Cosmetics brush, and it's super soft. I don't know what kind of bristles these are, but it's super soft. Definitely beats my Sigma blush brush that I use. I can't remember the name of it or the number of the Sigma brush, but this is just a lot softer in it feels a lot better on the skin so um, these are a little bit pricier but um, if you can afford it I would definitely check out uh, this brush and they sell these um, at Ulta QVC and I'm pretty sure they would sell them at It Cosmetics online so yeah those are the three places I know you could pretty much pick these up at. The next product I wanted to talk about is this Aveeno Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer and it looks like this and you can get this at any drugstore that's readily available to you. I used this in high school and I liked it a lot actually and I don't really know why I stopped using it but for some reason I got back on using it and I really like it. It really does help to moisturize the skin without leaving it greasy or oily which is important if you have combination or oily skin um, and it is I believe hypoallergenic and it has salicylic acid in it which is good I don't really break out but um, if you are someone that breaks out I guess that would be good for you it says that evens out skin tone with the soy complex it has like a total soy complex um I don't I don't know I'm not saying that it doesn't I'm not saying that it does but I th just think it's a great all-around moisturizer and it probably does even out my skin tone a lot I can't really attest to that but I just really recommend this moisturizer and then the last product I want to talk to you guys about is coconut oil. And I use the Barleen's Coconut Oil Island Fresh Raw Vegan Organic. And uh, it is the only ver the only ingredient in this is organic version coconut oil, which is what you should always look for when you're buying oils. Um, so this is amazing. If you can't tell, I got highlights and my hair is bleached especially the blonde parts I'm here that those are obviously bleached because my hair color that I'm working with is black so we had to bleach it to um, take the color up 
and I knew I had to be moisturizing my hair and getting on that but for me I have a lot of fine hair and if I put something too heavy on it it's gonna weigh it down it's gonna make it look greasy and nasty and so I was gonna be very particular about which oil that I or which product I wanted to use so I picked up some coconut oil and it's amazing I pretty much use this every day and I don't ever feel like my hair is weighed down or greasy or it looks disgusting. So coconut oil is amazing. It has a lot of amazing properties in it. So I would definitely check it out if you're looking for a great moisturizer that's light but still will do the job. So that is it for my February favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I really enjoyed making it for you guys. Um, to keep up to date with me in between videos, just remember you can always follow me on Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook, and I also have a blog that I will link in the down bar. But that is it for today. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.